Hello everyone, this is Anurag Joseph and today we are going to study muscle contraction. So this is your muscle and each muscle has several fascicles as you can see here and fascicles are nothing but muscle fibers bundled around in a sheath and each muscle fiber has myofibrils right and each myofibril has sarcomere okay so basically many sarcomeres make up the myofibril and many myofibril makes up the muscle fiber and when these muscle fibers are arranged in a sheath it is called fascicle and several fascicle together forms our muscle right so so each muscle fiber has many sarcomeres you can see in the powerpoint presentation so this is our sarcolemma now the sarcolemma is a layer that covers up the sarcomere it is a membrane of muscle cell and these are sarcoplasmic reticulum you know calcium is stored in these tubules and is released in the presence of signal from the central nervous system from the motor neuron and this is mitochondria which gives ATP to the myosin head right myosin is the thick filament of the muscle fibers and these are myofibrils the contractile unit of the sarcomere so as you can see here this myofibril has a thick filament and thin filament right thick filament is marked by red color and thin filament is shown by blue color right so the thick filament is in the center and the thin filament forms our z line right and the edge zone is the distance between the thick line right so you must remember that you know the distance between from one z line to another z line this region is called sarcomere right so each sarcomere has a thick filament and thin filament and this z line is made up of thin filament now we are going to study the sliding filament theory now these sarcomere are or we can say whole muscle fiber or myofibrils are innervated by motor neurons and motor neurons has neurotransmitters called as acetylcholine and this acetylcholine supply to the tubules right sarcolemma right and this sarcolemma stimulates the sarcoplasmic reticulum to release calcium ions as you can see here now what happens when when calcium ions are released by the sarcoplasmic reticulum now you must also remember that thick filament is made up of myosin protein which have myosin head right and thin filament is made up of actin molecules as you can see in this powerpoint presentation right this is actin molecules and the purple curved line is tropomyosin okay and this actin molecule has troponin complex to which calcium will bind i will repeat again during muscle contraction when there is influx of calcium the influx of calcium occurs because of the neurotransmitter acetylcholine from the motor neuron and when this calcium ion binds with troponin molecule of the actin it displaces the tropomyosin layer this purple layer is known as tropomyosin and the actin filament gets exposed to the binding site of thick filament this binding site for thick filaments are the heads of myosin myosin was our thick filament all right so the thing to remember is that thin filament which forms the z line contains actin molecules shown as blue and it also contains tropomyosin layer that protects the binding site of actin molecules 
and the troponin molecules to which our calcium ions bind now how it works as you can see here this is our myosin head getting attached to the actin molecule as you can see here you can see the yellow part is calcium and this calcium displaces the tropomyosin as you can see the green molecule is ATP right so with the help of ATP the myosin head attaches to the actin filament and pushes centrally for the sarcomere to contract as you can see here these are the steps involved in muscle contraction influx of calcium ions from the sarcoplasmic reticulum to the stimulation of acetylcholine now acetylcholine is our neurotransmitter from the motor neuron as you can see here that with the help of ATP which converts into ADP and phosphate the myosin head of the thick filament binds the actin filament and then when it binds to the actin filaments you can see here it binds to the actin filament and pushes centrally okay so the whole sarcomere contracts as you can see here you can see the edge zone so this is before the myosin head is engaged with the actin filament but as soon as the actin filament gets engaged with the myosin head the myosin head pulls the thin filament to the center as you can see here the z line you know contracts the edge zone shortens okay and this is called as muscle contraction okay this happens in one sarcomere which follows into the other sarcomeres you know which makes the whole muscle fiber contract and which when the whole muscle fiber contracts the fascicles contract and it makes the muscle contracts and our bones move so this is how muscle contraction takes place